Believe it or not, there are many lessons that we can learn for drummers. The most important one being, never leave your girlfriend alone with a drummer. But after that, there are a lot of basic rhythmic principles that you can apply from a drum kit to a guitar, so we're going to check some out right now. So when you're learning to play drums, you start with these things called rudiments. And rudiments are basically just very basic principles of rhythm that you can repeat over and over and over again. Now, I kind of wish that rudiments weren't so drum specific in teaching because they're great for any instrument. So one example of a very cool rudiment is called a paradiddle. You may have heard of this before. Basically, it sounds like this. You go left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Okay, so you don't need a drum kit to do this. You can do this on like your hands on your legs. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. And eventually, just practicing that, you build up your muscle, your muscle memory, and then you can get really fast at it, right? So, paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. And then if you kind of like move it around in a kit, you end up with like. So it's something that you can easily repeat because it's a very short piece that you kind of string together. So that's just one rudiment of many. This isn't going to be to like a total drum lesson, but we are going to do one more. It's called a six stroke roll. So a lot of times you see drummers and they seem to be playing like, like super, super fast, right? And what they're doing, instead of counting one, two, four, they're like super count, like counting super fast, they're kind of stringing together these rolls. So a, strict, a six stroke roll is where you just do six at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then eventually you can kind of make them faster and faster until you can play really fast. So a six stroke roll, I'm kind of accenting the one and then five extra beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that first one is kind of what keeps everything in line. One, two, three, four, five, six. So paradiddle, paradiddle, six. And we're going to learn now how to implement these on a guitar. So let's apply that first rudiment we learned the paradiddle to a guitar. So instead of going left, right, left, left, we're going to go down, up, down, down, strumming a chord. So we'll take an easy chord, like an E minor, and we're going to start off with the first paradiddle. Down, up, down, down, and then we're going to do the opposite. Instead of going right, left, right, right, we're going to go up, down, up, up. So in total, we end up with down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Now you can see I'm not just going full strokes. They're like down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, up. I'm kind of dynamically accenting those beats so we can hear the rudiment nature of the the strumming pattern, right? So down, up, down, down. When I go down, I'm just kind of hitting the first maybe three strings I'm aiming for. Down, up. Now on the up stroke, I'm getting the bottom three. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up. Right? So separating that chord out kind of makes it seem like you're playing more than just. So down, up, down, down, paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle to like a G chord. Now another way you can do is to just pick this, right? Like let's take a power chord, like a, like an A power chord. So we have 5E e and 7A. And now if we just do even shorter strokes, where we're just doing one string at a time. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up. Paradiddle, paradiddle. One other way we could use it, if we're playing more finger style, like let, let's take a, Let's take an A minor seven chord. So my middle finger is on the A, and then my ring finger is getting the fifth fret of the D, G, B. I'm gonna split those strokes up into a thumb and a chord type thing, right? So I've got my thumb and then a chord. Paradiddle, paradiddle. A lot of different ways that you can just split up paradiddles and think of them and think of how to incorporate them in your guitar playing. Now the other rudiment that we did was the six stroke roll. So this is just going to be a little bit quicker to, well, depending on what tempo you do it at, but we're going to accent the one and then finish the rest of the six strokes. So back to that E minor, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's kind of like strumming in three. One, two, three, one, two, three. But instead, we're just going to go alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, just on the drum kit, it's chunking this information together where you can just get the sound of one rudiment 
That's just a six stroke roll, a six kind of directional pick thing. And that's the best way to build up speed is doing it really slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six with the chord. And then once you get the feel for how long that lasts, you build it into your muscle memory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them both together in kind of like a chord progression, right? So we'll start out with paradiddles on an E minor. Paradiddle, paradiddle. And then we're gonna do two six stroke rolls or six stroke strums down, right? So we've got an E minor, paradiddle. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up. I'm gonna go to a G, but I'm not gonna play the full G, I'm just gonna take a piece of it, right? And I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I took that G, I took it down to an A, and I just moved it down two frets. So instead of three A and two, or three E and two A, I have five E and four A. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Paradiddle, paradiddle, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, do it at whatever speed, that was kind of fast, but. And we're gonna move everything down a string. So instead of E minor, we're gonna do A minor. Now we have kind of like a C to a D type thing going on here on the A and the D string. So incorporating these two rudiments, we can kind of make our own chord progression up with it. So again, this is just an example of using two different rudiments. There's a lot of different drum rudiments, and this isn't really a drum lesson, but it's just an idea of like how you can take the perspective from another instrument and apply it to something else and really just kind of increase your own guitar playing, even though we're using principles from a different instrument.